Ooh, coffee. You know how I know that I like coffee? Because it says so on my little badge here. Fueled by coffee. This is Today is Friday, March 4th, 2022. Guys, I'm going with Advanced Security System and Key Programming today, or Key Locksmithing today with Matthew Scundridge. It should be good. Guys, I want to take a second to share with you. Uh, these are all the sponsors for the Technician of Tomorrow Fund for Vision. So just so you guys see here, you got Napa and a bunch of other things. But take a look here, you all. Tell good stuff. Oh, hands on our training. We're in there. So, but uh, I want anybody that's looking at this, make sure you take a look around all these other sponsors that are trying to get the Technicians of Tomorrow Fund going so uh, more uh, people can get in. You've got ASE, Pico, all kinds of good stuff, guys. So I am going to be getting off to class here. I'm excited for a great day. I'll catch up with you later. Good morning, guys. I'm here with Christopher and Peyton. These are both technicians that are first-time attendees to the Vision Conference here. Um, and they are from Nebraska, so they said about a seven-hour drive, right, guys? Yep. Yeah, seven, seven All right. and a half. How are you liking Vision so far? Do you have anything that you'd say about it or any comments? Uh, must attend at least once, you know. You got to attend at least once? You got to yeah. do at least once? I've right. enjoyed it. Uh, everybody you've met is outstanding people. So far, the classes are very well presented. It's a, it's a great expo, great conference. All right. And everybody's been friendly to you? Nobody's chopping your head off or nothing? No. no. All right. Just want to make sure because, you know, I, I get people in my area that are afraid to spend the money or take the time off work, and they're like, well, I'm not, I'm not that good of a technician. I'm like, that's the whole point of the idea, guys. Absolutely. I mean, we all have room to grow. Everybody has room to grow, so that's what it's all about. So thanks a lot for taking the time, guys. I'm going to give you my card for checking me out on YouTube, but, you know, um, that's, if you have anything else to say, let me know. What classes are you going to today? That's the big question. Diagnostics 101 for me. Advanced okay. electrical and circuit testing. Oh, cool. <laughs> I love electrical. The basic electricity is the best or even advanced. I love it. That's, that's my favorite subject in the whole world. Um, but uh, that, that's great. I'm going to advanced locksmithing, so that's going to be cool today. Keep programming, stuff like that. So you guys have a great day. Real nice to meet you. Yeah, you as well. What's up, everybody? I'm here at Vision. This is our second day, and I'm with Brian Good from Good Auto Diagnostics. Brian, uh, can you tell me a little bit about your uh, business and what you do? Yeah, uh, Good Auto Diagnostics. Uh, I'm just a one-man shop at this point in time. Um, staying busy. Uh, do a little bit of mobile programming here and there uh, when I have time, not in the shop. Um, right here at Vision for my second time. Uh, enjoying it. Networking with all the guys, uh, you know, that I meet across the nation from going to different training. Um, it's just a good time, you know. Good, good instruction. Uh, always continuing to learn and further myself in this business that I love. So well, that's awesome, Brian. Thanks a lot for sharing. I mean, you bet. It, uh, I think that one of the coolest things is if you don't get the chance to have some, I guess, Facebook friends and social media, which is this crazy this and age, but you get to have some Facebook friends and then you start meeting up with them across the country. It's it's a pretty good experience. So for sure. Thanks a lot for sharing, man. We'll catch you up and uh, we're in a locksmithing class today. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, it's good stuff. Bye-bye. All right, here I am with Edwin. Edwin is from Miami, Florida, and we just finished up a uh, full day. I mean, I'm talking a full packed hour, uh, an eight-hour class on locksmithing. Really cool stuff by Matt. How do you how do you say your name, Matt? Scunridge. Scunridge. I didn't want to mispronounce it, but Matt's over there. He has a lot of work to do to pick up this class because it's quite an operation he got going on. Check this out. He had this thing set up really nice. And the good thing is I got B-roll I'm going to put right over that. So uh, Edwin is a first-time attendee. Do you have anything to say about Vision so far? Well, no, I, I mean, I, 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 up to right now, I love it. You know, I love all the information that I'm getting. You know, it's hand-on, hands-on, sorry. And, you know, the experience and getting to meet people who are trying to go the same route that I'm going in my career is an awesome experience, especially when it comes to keys and, you know, like when it comes to programming keys, you know, it, it's it's a big step up in my career. Yeah, adding, uh, adding these different, I guess, notches or levels that we can do to the services we provide for our customer, uh, not only help the shop we're at, but it help us uh, further our careers along too. So that's pretty cool. Matt, you got anything to say to the camera? I don't have a mic. Matt says no anyways. Well, he did a great job today. So uh, awesome locksmithing class. I'm sure he'll be putting it on again. All right, everybody, we're uh, walking around here, just going ahead, walk into the main the main trade show. Let's see what's going on. This is the one hall down this way. And over here. We have ourselves the main trade show floor. So 
pretty big stuff going out. I'm gonna get out of the way and give you guys a point around. As you see, guys, this is a big trade show. If you're interested in going to this next year, make sure you check it out. Guys, I gotta go ahead and put the camera up over my head because I can't even get in close, but the AES Wave booth is all filled up. These guys are rocking it out over here. Check this out, we got the PicoScope booth over here. This is my favorite tool to use of all time. My favorite, there is the PicoScope running. And look at that back, black background. I gotta figure out the setting. This is PicoScope 7, where do you get the black background? How do you change that up? Settings. All right. I'm gonna go to light. There Remember, you go. That's only in the early access. It's not. Hey guys, check this one out. Woo wee! A little old school Z28 action, huh? If you want that, be great. Okay, guys, this is a great uh, um, setup from uh, Console Labs. This is MG1, MG2, I believe for like a uh, Prius type of uh, hybrid system. So you can look at all the different gears and uh, how, how it works. Very, very cool stuff. So if you were to hold that one and I turn this one, hold that one. Okay, so that's reverse. Oh, hold your still. See, well, hold still or you can't. So there you go, forward. And then if I go the other way, there's backward. And then now you can turn yours. Yep, you got all the different operation there. That's pretty cool. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool stuff. So if you, if you uh, let's see, I forget which one, MG1, which one's the motor? So if you hold yours and I start mine up, it's going to go. So start, turn yours now. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and turn them back the other way. You can get all kinds of stuff going. This is a great demonstration, Jim. MG1, MG2, this explains hybrids so well here. Oh, man, it's good stuff. So you can understand how, how it's working. Really, really good stuff. There you go. Guys, we're at the ePromicon booth. This is uh, Michael Christofferson and Pedro de la Torre. They're doing their stuff selling up tools here. I'm gonna be probably picking up that uh, the X-Horse uh, Tool Max. What's up, everybody? I'm with Alan here, and uh, this is Saturday morning, 10 a.m. We're on our first break of the day. I'm in a, an electrical class, really enjoying it. I got a few tips and stuff that are going to help me do a better job of explaining it. But Alan is from Missouri, uh, Texarkana, Arkansas. I can't say it. Texarkana, Alan. Arkansas. Okay. I'm the lead technician for pressurized performance, and uh, we mainly handle with uh, diesel heavy line and drivability concerns. Uh, my lead is a power stroke diesel technician. I only mess with Fords. That way you can hone in and be specialized on one thing. Instead of kind of doing everything, you know, you can kind of just hone in and specialize and just become really good at one craft. Uh, vision has been very, very well for me. It has re-evaluated and re-expanded my kind of knowledge of diagnosis. I kind of got closed in a little bit and just kind of in my mainframe, but this has allowed me to kind of open up back in and just kind of take up different avenues of diagnosis instead of being stuck in one way. Well, that's pretty cool. So you're saying you're pretty much a uh, diesel specialist with the Fords, you said? Yes. For the Ford Power Strokes and stuff correct, like that? Correct, correct. That's awesome. I mean, th those engines are super complex in certain ways, and if you don't work on them often, it can be challenging. So right. to have a technician that's really focusing on one type of engine and getting specialized in that's awesome. And I mean, the training here is fantastic. Just so you know, me and Alan just met because he was playing with the piano. I sat over there at the piano and we <laughs> busted out some heart and soul. So cool stuff. But, Excellent. Uh, um, yeah, do you have any, uh, I've been asking people, um, I have people on the, uh, YouTube that follow me are asking about uh, a lot of questions about vision. Right. And I had a couple people in comments and also on Facebook message me about, they're saying, well, I'm not that level technician. I'm not good enough to be a vision. And I'm like, mm. well, you're missing the whole point. You can come here. Right. It doesn't matter which skill level you're at, and you can really go up. I mean, right now I'm in a really basic electrical class just because I can still learn something. There's still something for me to pick up. Do you have any any input for people who are like, oh, I'm not that good? Uh, I mean, it's like we all got room. Uh, the first thing, anything you can be bad at. Go ahead and get past that. But you want to keep it going, and you want to – you got to have the want to become better, you know. If you say you're not better, then you never become better. But if you know you're not better, then good. Then become better then. Take the initiative and invest into your education and expand your knowledge and network with people. I mean, one mind can only think so far. Once you get multiple minds together, it, it makes things a lot more easier. Oh, man, you're nailing, the, nailing it on the head there, man, because mm -hmm. I tell you what, we're hitting the nail on the head with hammer. I 
uh, networked with so many people between going to Super Saturday and Vision like this. I've met so many cool people, and now I got you know more and more people I'm in contact with. When I've got a tough problem in a specialized area, I might be able to have a, a Facebook friend to hit up or something like that Excellent. that I didn't yeah. have before. So that's cool stuff. Real good to meet you, Alan. You Thanks too. a lot, man. I appreciate it. What's up, everybody? I'm here with Dane Martindale. He is from Lincoln, Nebraska. And I met uh, Dane back in 2020, uh, right before COVID is when I first met yep. him, I believe, at Vision. Yeah. I think we yep. had a good time, lots of good learning. How's it going, Dane? You got good. anything to say about the uh, classes or anything? Uh, it's, if you're not here, you need to be here. <laughs> That's a this fact. event is awesome. It's by far one of the best I've ever been to. So. Yeah, there's lots great of stuff to interact around. and huge. meet everybody. Yeah, it's we're a ton about of fun. to go check out the uh, expo. Are you going to be buying any goodies today? Hopefully, hopefully <laughs> all they're right, not all yeah. sold out. I snuck in there late last night or right away last night. I shouldn't say late, but yeah. uh, and stuff was already selling out. Yeah. So. You, uh, yeah, stuff went fast. I know AES waves a lot of the yep. uh, yeah. test lead kits and all that stuff. I'm going to be. Uh, uh, I'm trying to ask people about uh, first time attenders or or people that are not first time attenders are thinking about going to Vision and they're technicians. There's tons of them in my area that actually are starting to say, oh, I should have signed up for that. You're right, Brian, I should have. Yes. Do you have anything to, to say or recommend to them? Uh, just get here at all costs. I mean, it's it's absolutely well worth it. And just not only the training, but meeting everybody, meeting people. I mean, you make lifelong friends out of the deal. And, and for me, I mean, it, it really changed my career. I, it well, was a life-changing event the first time I showed up here. You, so. you start uh, coming to events like this, and you end up becoming Facebook friends or whatever with different people. Oh, You're yeah. in contact with them. You can help solve problems. The networking's huge. Um, and I guess the one thing I say is everything costs. I mean, you know, I'm away from my family for a few right, days. Yeah. The airfare, hotel, all that stuff, it all adds up. It, it's but not it, cheap, it's but worth it, it is well worth it's it. It's absolutely so. worth it. Dane, so. thanks a lot for your time. Yeah, you we'll bet. talk to you soon. It's good to see you. Hey guys, I'm just getting ready to go to the last class of the day. We're at Vision 2022, having a good time. I ran into Keith Perkins. If you haven't checked doing? out L1 Diagnostics, uh, he's got great material, great stuff. He's out there doing a mobile for shop scene, the same funny stuff, well, some of the same funny stuff I see. Um, Keith, how, how's it going and what's up, man? Man, love Vision this year. You guys, uh, you gotta come. Listen, here's the deal. Get Brian's training, my stuff's cool. Get Brian's training and then come in person, right? Because there's nothing like the in-person stuff. Brian does virtual, I do virtual, but nothing beats being here. So you gotta get here. Uh, other than that, get sleep, because I'm completely lacking it here. Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, you'll be networking with people and hanging out and running to people that you made on Facebook. I mean, the networking has gotta be by far, like, I mean, just a notch below the, how, how the high the training is, in my opinion. I mean, the training's awesome here. Really good instructors, great classes. I mean, Keith's one of them. I went to his class. You know, I'm learning from him, guys. <laughs> He's good stuff. I look up to you. I'm, I'm over here at Vision saying, man, I look up to these people. So if by chance that you think, you know, look up at my channel, think I'm good or whatever, guys, I'm learning every single day, and I have to put effort into it. It's not easy. If it was easy, well... I wouldn't be here and neither would Keith. So nope. um, guys, nope. we're just uh, learning all the time. Like I said, I see people I look up to and I'm like, there's Keith, there's Keith Perkins, check that out. <laughs> and I say, there's Brian, he's been doing it way longer than me. I got so much to learn uh, from him. Well, yeah. it, it is awesome. We're having a great time and I have to get to class. So yes. catch you later, man. Brian, have a good one. You too, man. Thanks. What's going on everybody? Brian Man here, uh, you guys know that, but I'm with Oz from Oz Mechanics. Hey. Guys, if you haven't checked out Oz's channel, he has a great amount of awesome, helpful uh, videos all types of different types of mechanics. Uh, well, actually, Oz, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, so my name is Oz from Oz Mechanics, and uh, I have a diagnosing channel that I've been running for about nine years, I think. So we're going to hit a, our 10th year anniversary pretty soon. And uh, yeah, I've been doing uh, automotive videos for a good while. And the one who inspired me on that was Scanner Danner a long time ago. And after I was watching his videos, it really pushed me to start making videos and helping other people. And now I'm here at Vision and this is what really pushed me to grow my diagnosing. And I always recommend a lot of people to come to these kind of events right here to grow your knowledge and get that fire just burning again. And it's just an amazing thing, amazing people here, good networking, it's just all around good atmosphere. Oh, it's the atmosphere and networking is huge. Uh, you guys heard me talking to Keith earlier about that. It's just a, a great environment. And when you start working with fellow like-minded technicians, um, 
you learn so much. I mean, I mean, you just talk to somebody else, and they maybe think about a problem you're having in a little bit of a different way, and all of a sudden now you have a whole new avenue uh, to think about. <laughs> and, and now my brain hurts, but it's great. It's been a fantastic. I mean, it's four days of training. We're on our uh, last break here. This is it. Um, I'm in a networking class on Chrysler's. Pretty good stuff. Bill Weaver's doing. What are you at? Are you same more? class? Oh, you're yeah. in there. I ain't. Man, I didn't even see you. So, I was right, right there in the back. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I got in the back last minute. So, guys, that's what's going on. Uh, if you haven't checked out Oz's channel, make sure you check it out. I'll put a link in the description, uh, and we'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, it is uh, Sunday evening. I am at the airport, and I'm here hanging out with Chad, editing the video that you're seeing right now, saying our goodbyes because it's been a real good time, guys. We've had a blast, and I got Oz over here. He's working on videos, too. He's, he's doing work. You'll see that someday. <laughs> there you go. Oz, it was great seeing you, guy. Good times, man. Oh, man, today was a pretty nice day. And uh, we actually went to the casino, too, and that was pretty fun. Yeah, I didn't lose too much. <laughs> <laughs> two casinos. Actually, we went yeah. to two casinos. That's a whole other story. So <laughs> we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.